Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, Colin and his medicines that he uh, has taken over the years. It, it's, it's quite extensive, but I'm not going to go through all of it. Uh, my wife, uh, she took very good notes from the beginning. Uh, we have folders, and this is the uh, first years, going back to uh, 96, of uh, when we first started with Colin and his autism, uh, autism trip. Uh, we've had numerous medications uh, for him. Some of them, I'm not really sure worked, or they may have. Uh, Dawn has a note next to all of them uh, that uh, whether they did or didn't work, like the Prozac didn't work, seemed like his uh, uh, behavior and uh, became more intense and more manic. Uh, we, we did Ritalin. Uh, that didn't work. Uh, Depakote, uh, although it, it, I guess it did work, but the problem was uh, he was like so out of it he would go to bed and just not get out of bed and pee the bed. Uh, we went back to uh, a water bed that we had, and it just it, Depakote didn't really work. We did uh, Clonidine. I uh, can't really say that worked. 10x. We did 10x for a long time. Uh, we actually tried Depakote a couple times uh, in his in his years, and it just it just never. We figured maybe when he got older it would work. It, it didn't. Uh, we did calcium and magnesium supplements, vitamin B supplements, pyramide. The 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 biggest problem we had was uh, there's no real. Uh, there is, but uh, to find somebody that's available for uh, autistic kids, uh, a psychiatrist that, that can prescribe. So you have to rely on uh, psychiatrists that, that are at least willing to help you out with uh, what's going on. And now that he is on his own insurance, which he has been for quite a while, uh, his, his, his insurance actually dictates uh, what psychiatrist he could go to. Uh, we've had... Uh, several in this one practice that we've been going to either the, the person's moved on or uh the one fellow the one gentleman uh, we started with left uh came back he died and then another person took over in his in his place uh, we've had some uh up and down with his meds uh one of the ones uh that uh, colin was on was uh xanax i don't recommend that for anybody we at the time didn't realize it, but uh, he was actually becoming very addicted to it. And uh, when it was in him, it was working great. But uh, it, once you got closer to the end, he would, it was, it was bad. Uh, we didn't even my wife and I are both nurses and we didn't figure out what the sweats and the mood swings and the, and, and all that. We just didn't grasp what was going on. And uh, when we talked to the uh, new psychiatrist that came in about the, the Xanax, uh, she said, well, what's he on? And we told her. And, but we were told to give it uh, PRN and uh, maybe update the uh, dose if need be. So that's what we did. And uh, the, the, the psychiatrist says, I don't want him on Xanax at all. I said, good, we, felt, we feel the same way. And we took him off of it. And uh, uh, she's like, well, we needed to taper it. And I said, no, what we did is uh, we went with a more uh, holistic approach. Uh, I had a friend of mine who at the time lived in Vegas, uh, was able to get me uh, medical uh, marijuana and the stuff he was getting was actually working pretty good. Uh, he didn't have the withdrawals. Uh, he, it, it, it helped him out quite a bit for, for a few months. Uh, unfortunately, he moved to uh, uh, Oregon and we kind of lost that strain that he was getting. And we tried other ones, but they, the only thing they did was just really make him high. And uh, we didn't want him walk around high all day. Although he was happy, but he was high and uh, we wanted more I guess wanted him more coherent and uh, we actually stopped that uh, we also did a, another and we actually still do uh, I was, uh, the radio station I listened to they uh, were talking about uh, a medication called Kratom it's also over-the-counter it's actually legal in most states uh, basically it uh, depending on what strain you get uh, Collins currently on Bally uh, it helps with anxiety and moods and depression and so forth and so on. 
We've actually been giving this to him for quite some time now. Uh, not every day, uh, although some days he gets it three times, other days he doesn't get it at all. Uh, it just depends on him and his mood. But uh, the one thing we know for sure is out of all the ballistic things we've tried and actually all the, the uh, prescribed stuff, uh, it works pretty good. Uh, we give them a powder form. They have pill forms and powder forms. The uh, powder form works great. It's usually within 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, unlike Valium, which he also uh, is prescribed, which is only two milligrams for a 260 pound uh, man, uh, two milligrams is nothing. Uh, but she prescribes a PRN. So we, we maybe give him a couple at nighttime when he goes to bed, but still, Kratom works much faster and Valium, which is prescribed, doesn't really work at all. So I'm just gonna move on to his current medications. Uh, he's only on five. Uh, I already talked about the Valium. Uh, another one he's taken is Rylar. That's, he's in a middle dose. I'm okay with that. Uh, the Lexapro, he's also in a middle dose. I'm okay with that. The last two are, uh, not, uh, anywhere near a, a therapeutic dose. For example, he's on Clomipramide, 25 milligrams. Uh, all the things I've looked at, that is like a starter dose. Uh, I haven't addressed that with the psychiatrist yet because, uh, the other medication that he's on, Seroquel, that was, he was getting 200 milligrams a day. And again, he's 260 pounds. 200 milligrams a day is like a child's dose. And he's been on this for quite some time. And, and to be honest with you, I, can't, I couldn't say any of these drugs were actually helping him. He was still anxious and so forth and so on. So I did, did I actually did some research. Uh, Johns Hopkins, uh, 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 the Mayo Clinic, uh, the, the, the factory, even the factory, uh, all of them said he should be on between 400 and 800 milligrams of uh, Seroquel. So I think my pharmacy doesn't count meds because I've got like whole bottles of the stuff and I know we don't skip the doses. So we decided to just up it to 400 milligrams uh, from 200 a day to 400 milligrams a day. So uh, when I did that, we had a terrible weekend, a uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we all got hurt. It was just bad. Uh, Monday, I decided to up it uh, to uh, 200 in the morning and 200 at night. Uh, I gave him Kratom in the afternoon that day just because I was nervous, but then I decided not to give Kratom the rest of the week and he was fine. Um, I did adjust it to, I gave him 300 in the morning and 100 at night. The one thing I will say is it doesn't seem, for some reason, usually this stuff makes people drowsy. Uh, he hasn't really been sleeping, which is okay. I mean, he goes to bed at midnight and he'll get up at like six or seven, maybe, or, or earlier. I'm not really sure because I'm usually, I usually don't get out of bed until 6.30. And uh, he's up doing whatever, but he's happy and uh, he's not trying to hurt us. And uh, things are going actually pretty well now that I've upped the dose. So I called the doctor's office and made an appointment to, to talk to her and uh, we talked on Friday and uh, she initially went really ballistic with me telling me I shouldn't have done that and that uh, uh, I, I had no reason for, for doing that and I told her I said well I've been telling you for months that he's been hurting us it, it hasn't been going well he's still manic you, you we've talked and he's been this way while talking to you and you still haven't done anything and all my research that I've done shows that he should be on at least 400 milligrams. So I put him on 400 milligrams. And uh, I said, I, I think you kind of dropped the ball on this one. And uh, she like thought a second, she goes, well, there's no sense of pointing fingers now. I'm like, okay. She goes, I have no problems with him being on 400 milligrams. So I was like, well, good. Then why didn't you put him on 400 milligrams months ago? Well, you have to ease into this uh, gently. I said, not according to what I've been reading. I said, he should have been on 200 the first day. 300 the next day and 400 the day after that. I said, we've been on 200 for months. I said, he's, he was actually on 100 for a long time. And then you, she moved about to 200. So yeah, he's on 400 now and he's actually doing pretty good. So Colin's mania is just way down. Uh, he's actually a pleasure and joy to be around. Uh, he still gets a little, uh, I guess, upset. Like we had uh, my son and his friends were here this weekend and it was a bit much for a 29 year old he, with a bunch of 12 year olds running around and making lots of noise and so forth and so on. So uh, he actually did get Kratom, but uh, he was pretty mellow 
all weekend and cool about it. I'm not telling you to try any of these medications. I'm not even telling you to try the, uh, the non-prescribed stuff. Uh, everybody's different and I got a feeling it's trial and error and make sure when uh, your doctor does prescribe meds that you, you check out the, uh, what, what the max is, what, uh, what dosage they're currently on. Uh, find out what uh, the adverse uh, effects could be. Um, find out what the, the goal is for, for the med that you're about to, ready to give your uh, child. I hope this helps a few people. I'm thinking that the knowledge is out there and we just need help finding it. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps somebody and you'll have a good one.